When you pulled that stunt a few months ago, I didn't say nothing. And I should have. I ain't say nothing, but I'm finna say something now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omaomi, aka Petit Diva. And in this video, we are discussing about the controversial TikToker that decided to ask our followers for donation to help her find a matchmaker. So this um, TikToker, whose content is basically about our dating life, what she has been going through, decided to come online to ask our followers to um, donate to our good for me because she wanted to hire a matchmaker. So she thinks that with a matchmaker, she'll be able to get a better partner or she'll be able to have a better ex dating experience and eventually find someone that she can settle with now the GoFundMe was for three thousand dollars and um she said she was going to use that to pay for a month or two and i think the total amount that she was going to need was eight thousand but she started to go for me for three thousand dollars i am a 30 year old single mom and i'm still looking for my soulmate if you've been following me for a while you know that i have been through hell and back with dating and i'm so tired of using the dating apps i'm so tired of doing the same thing and being let down and being disappointed and so i thought long and hard about this and i really really want to hire a matchmaker also because i literally live in the worst city for dating statistically and i feel like a matchmaker will be able to weed out the men that are not serious weed out the men that are not financially stable and allow the men that are serious about looking for the love of their lives in a long-term relationship and bring them to the forefront and that's exactly what I need. Now, the only thing that's getting in my way is that hiring a matchmaker is actually extremely expensive. I am a single mom, so unfortunately I can't go spend all my money on that. And that's why I have created a GoFundMe account. I did link it in my bio. I've never done this before. I've never asked people for money on the internet. I'm extremely nervous, but it's just something that I'm very passionate about and that I really believe in. I really think that it could really help me find the love of my life. And so I think that, you know, it, it could possibly work. So if that's something that you're able to do, I really appreciate it. If you're not able to donate, then just liking the video, just sharing the video, uh, commenting on the video will help boost the video and get it to people um, that may be able to help me out and donate. But yeah, I'm tired of doing the same thing. Um, I'm tired of doing the same thing. And I think this will be a fun experience, especially for those people who are in the same boat as me, that they are looking for love and they're looking for new ways to meet people or do things. And I think as a single parent, it's also hard. So I can't wait to possibly hopefully meet this goal and share that experience with you now a lot of people especially in the black community had some issues with her go for me to find a matchmaker when you pulled that stunt a few months ago i didn't say nothing and i should have i ain't say nothing but i'm finna say something now let me tell y'all what she did so she made a video and she was talking about how everything that she's been doing so far with dating has not worked for her she has not found her soulmate so because she's a single mother who cannot afford to do so she wants us to donate to a gofundme that she created so we can pay for a matchmaker so we can pay for a dating coach for her so she can find her soulmate at this point, I can't tell if she's being serious. I can't tell if she was just trying to rack some views in. I can't tell if she in that beta program and she trying to get them coins up because it seems like that preferred audience that she wanted did not get her them brand deals. The audience that you thought would be better for your platform did not come through. Those deals didn't come through and that money on is not coming through. I am not one to say what somebody else's focus should be, but you getting a dating coach or a matchmaker is not mandatory. It's not necessary. Focus on the things that you need to get done. It's one thing if you need the money for a necessary thing. A dating coach is not necessary. Maybe, just maybe, pick up a job. If you have a job, hey, maybe start a side hustle or make better content so you can bring in bigger and better brand deals. And let me end this video off by saying this. It doesn't matter if you get a matchmaker. It doesn't matter if you get a dating coach. The reason your relationships probably are not working out is because your discernment is <laughs> because your self-awareness is <laughs> because your ability to self-reflect is <laughs> when I say this, I'm not being funny. I'm not. You don't need a dating coach. You need a therapist. And if you have one, dedicate some more time to self-reflection and really healing yourself. That's what you need. Winnie. I can assure you that we is not in the mood, baby. You can go get up on YouTube for free and do the 10 lineup with the man's versus one lady and find you anybody. Because at this point, that's what you're looking for. Anybody. Girl, it is people out here that got a bag of clothes to their name. Like me. And you coming up here making up a GoFundMe about a man? 
Girl, is you, you okay? Let's not forget the IRS sitting up here digging up in everybody's tax return and sending everybody a letter talking about they owe and you up here playing. You can go on a fast for 40 days and 40 nights, literally, and ask the Lord to reveal to you who your man is. Why must you come up here and ask the sinners? If we're going to make a GoFundMe for anything, we probably need to get you some counseling. Take your needy ass right on over there to them book clubs and them country clubs and them tea parties to them same pink colored people that you got up on our FYPs and said, oh, I'm going to say something so controversial. Having an XYZ audience is so much better than having a girl. We don't got it. Ask that bitch for some money. My way is that. Hiring a matchmaker is actually extremely expensive. Honestly, I don't care what you think about that video. She can do her. But tell me why I just Googled how much matchmakers are in Boston. Because when she said it was 8K for a matchmaker, I was like, wait a minute. Why am I under this guys that matchmakers are just like, I don't know. It's not that expensive. They do it for fun. No. Oh my goodness. I just Googled matchmakers in Boston because I was, I was curious. I was like, they're that expensive? $10,000 for six months of their services. You know when you just realize that something is just something you never expected it to? I never expected a matchmaking service, not that I think about them often, to be that much money. That's the PSA. I don't really have anything else to say. But while I'm at it, comment videos or comment podcasts for single women. Because around quarter one, I always think I need a boyfriend. And it's just like, I don't. I don't. I don't. It's just, it's just the air, something in the air. I need to start listening to podcasts and stay grounded because, whoa. I want to start the video by saying that I don't think you're desperate for hiring a matchmaker to find love. Now, Winnie, the desperation comes in when you're asking the Internet to fund the matchmaker for you to find love. And our reward for that is to watch it all unfold on TikTok. I know you say you're not desperate for love, but honestly, that itself, it's giving pick me behavior. In my personal opinion, if you cannot afford a matchmaker by yourself, then you shouldn't be asking other people to do it for you. You don't think it's hard out there for everyone and you're saying, well, I'm 30. There is people that are literally 40 years old and they're still single. Please, it's going to be okay. You need to learn how to love yourself. You cannot begin to love someone if you cannot love yourself. You should love yourself so much that getting someone to be your partner is just a bonus. It shouldn't be like what makes or break your life. And then you say, well, it's like the love is blind. You guys watch it on Netflix. But the people on love is blind is not asking anyone to fund for them to go to this show. Literally, it costs us absolutely zero dollars. Actually, I'll scratch that. It costs us our Netflix subscription to watch the love is blind. And to wrap this up, you are on the creators fund on TikTok. And you are sitting here and instead of just trying to make more videos or make content that's going to get you more money through that creators fund to go ahead and fund your matchmaker. Then you're asking people that may not even have money to pay rent to help you find love. It's truly out of touch with reality, and that's the most upsetting part. I didn't even get to see the original video, but my FYP is doing the job for me already. Winnie Parker has cracked the rage bait code. Anytime she needs a boost of engagement, she knows exactly what to say, and she comes on here, says it, and enrages everyone. And what do we naturally do? Fall for it. And start making videos on videos. Uh, look at me right now. Making a video. <laughs> she's cracked the rage bait code. She's cracked the rage bait formula. And we keep falling for it. I don't think that lady actually was getting on the internet to ask for money to get a matchmaker. I don't think that was her actual goal. But she knew she was going to get a bunch of engagement from it. Because she was going to outrage <laughs> her followers. <laughs> and other people who just like to be mad at her <laughs> it's crazy because it feels like this is where social media is headed now like you make a rage bait video you could keep it up and get the views and the money and all of that or you could take it down and you'll still get views because people still come to your page to go watch your other content yikes Winnie Parker, I got you together not once but twice. I don't mind doing it again. Nope. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's because Winnie likes to not stand on business with her videos and she takes them down. ...are not financially stable and allow what? men... What? Dixie, you are a contradiction. You are a walking contradiction. For you to say you're looking for a financially stable man, you are not financially stable yourself, sweetheart, because if you were, you'll be able to pay for a matchmaker and not ask your followers. Correct? Yes, Winnie, your followers, you thought we forgot. It is better to have a following over a black follower. So anyway, <laughs> Winifred, have you thought about a pet? A dog, a cat, a fish, something? So I don't know about you, when something doesn't work after trying multiple times, you take a break. And I think you need a break, Winnebago. Cause I don't think you have any real friends out there. Cause if it was me, I would have said, Winnie, wrap it up, wrap it up. 
But it's okay, Winnie the Pooh. Maybe do some brand deals. That might rack up some coin for you. Or Winnie, why don't you go seek a therapist? Seek some help. Or if that is not your cup of tea and you want a little attention, Love is Blind is always looking for people like you. Or Married at First Sight. Or Love After Lockup. Pick your choice. Y'all, it's real. <laughs> Y'all, it's real. I looked it up myself. I, it's verified it is real now the gofundme says help winnie find love and it's set for three thousand dollars and she's currently raised about a hundred and ten thousand so let's check out the bio of that gofundme and then we're going to finish watching the rest of her video now she starts off by saying hi my name is winnie hi winnie girl and i'm a 30 year old single mom residing in atlanta georgia despite my best efforts finding love has proven to be elusive an elusive journey i've explored dating apps ventured out of my comfort zone but alas i've come up empty-handed now she continues on and says i am in pursuit of love i've considered seeking the guidance of a matchmaker however the reality is that matchmakers come with a hefty price tag often ranging from two thousand to four thousand dollars per month as a single mother uh this is a financial burden i simply cannot bear now keep in mind having a partner is optional <laughs> having a partner having a partner is just optional right? I've never seen someone leverage the community to find them a husband, but she continues. She said, but I refuse to lose hope. I truly believe that investing in a matchmaker could be the key to finding a special someone, someone who will embrace both me and my little one with open arms. Now, again, having a partner in your life does not necessitate a need, okay? Unless well, you get what I mean. She said, that's why I humbly turn to you, my community, for support with your generous donations. I'm hoping to raise $8,000 to cover the cost for a few months um, in a matchmaker program. Every contribution, no matter the size, brings me closer to finding um, my dream of finding true love. You have to be out of your mind to actually have posted this video. You said that you're in search of a matchmaker, but it's too expensive and you're a single mother. So, you know, it's too much for you to spend on right now. But you made a GoFundMe for other people to pay for what you want. Something like that. And it's not even a necessity. That's not even anything you really need. That's just something you want. You've actually made a GoFundMe for that? Wow. And you know what's the saddest part about this? There are going to be some people who donate towards that. And it's people who are actually on this app that are not paying handling, who are not, you know, begging y'all to pay their bills and stuff like that every other week, let alone month or whatever. There's people out here who has products who, who really have good causes that you should donate to, but y'all will give y'all money to people like this. This lady literally got on here and said she wanted a matchmaker, but when she looked up the price, it was too much for her, and she's a single mother. It's, it's too expensive for her to spend her money on. So she put up a go for me so y'all can spend y'all money mm -hmm. on it. <laughs> the audacity of it all. I can't believe it. Every day I get on this app and y'all piss me clean the fuck off. Why are y'all making go find me for y'all to get a matchmaker to find a man? Bitch, get in the Go 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 out. Go get a hobby. Go to a painting class. Go go to a pottery class. Go for a walk. Go say go go get a pet. Like why are y'all? Why is there even an idea that's like yeah? Let me make a GoFundMe so people can spend like eight thousand dollars to help me find a matchmaker to find a love of my life. Especially when you thirty years in deep with one kid. Baby, you done been in the game for a long ass time. If you don't know the game by now, that matchmaker ain't gonna do shit for you. Then just like y'all, it's bigger fish to fry. Oh. I just hit my nail. That's what I get for talking shit. I'm still gonna talk shit anyways. But, um, bitch, it's bigger fish to motherfucking fry out here. Y'all out here matchmaking? Ma Y'all really paying for matchmakers out here? At first, I feel like the dating apps were desperate, but it's, we just reached an all-time love. Then it's like, okay, you can do all that and still get paid. You finna pay somebody damn near a band to watch you get played? Girl, go get in the field. G go get in the field. To find a man? Oh, babe. Oh, babe. And then in the video, you had the audacity to say you want to find a man that's financially stable when you aren't even financially stable enough to pay to find a man. <laughs> I mean, talk about a lack of situational awareness. People are literally dying and you are begging money so you can hire a dating coach in 2024 when people are going homeless because the price of everything is through the roof and you are begging for $3,000.
$3,000 is two months of childcare. $3,000 can't even cover my mortgage. And you want people to just give you that rent is going up, the cost of living is going up, food is going up, eggs are $30 a carton. And in this economy, because don't know rich people follow you. Nobody with money for real follow you. It's people that's doing everyday shit, living their everyday life, going to fucking work, picking up their kids, cooking dinner, doing shit to get by. And then also, let's talk about priorities. Don't you live with your mama? Don't you and your son live with your mother? So wouldn't it be better to ask for $3,000 for a down payment on your own apartment, $3,000 to help you furnish your own apartment, to get on your feet? Something. But you get on the internet and ask for money to find a man? Whitney Parker might actually be the funniest person on this app. And what makes her so funny to me is that I don't think she's trying to be funny. I think she's so dead and serious. And that, that's even funnier. So I didn't get to see the video because she has since taken it down. But Winnie Parker started a GoFundMe to afford a matchmaker because she want a man. Mama, put your shoes on, okay? Put your shoes on. You're not an ugly girl. You're not ugly. You are just desperate. We need to go outside and go find you a man. Okay, because I, I fear the problem that you're running into is that you're so pressed for a man that it's making you undateable. Like to make this much content about dating. Now, I know you're probably like, bitch, you be talking about dating too. I do, but I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> That's the difference. I don't care. I post content about dating because I should be doing it, but I post about other things too. To only post about unsuccessful dating, that's insane. Like, if you're talking about dating and wanting a man that much on the internet, imagine what it's like in real life. It's probably really annoying, sister. It's probably really irritating. What I want you to do, and she's like, so Dana, <laughs> Dana made a video about it and when you stitch Dana's video, and she was like, I'm not gonna apologize for wanting love. And it's like, no, no one's saying that. What's crazy is asking us to pay for it. People are dying. And you want people to use their hard-earned pennies to help find you a man? And what if you find you buy a matchmaker and he don't want you neither? Now you done wasted our money. And that I do have a problem with. GoFundMe used to be for emergencies. You know, mutual aid. You do not need mutual aid to do something that you can do from your phone. Okay? Download an app. Mix it up. How about you start? We need to bring back house parties. That's where you really meet your husband. If you, we need to bring back kickbacks where everybody know everybody in there. But maybe you, everybody invite somebody, but you don't know everybody. So now you can find so-and-so friend and fall in love. That's what I need you to do. And he can't be a white man, okay? That's why it's not working, stick a butt. <laughs> That's why it's not working. What I need you to do is snap back into reality. Oh, there goes gravity, okay? I need you to calm down. Being this pressed, will only lead you down the Risa Tisa lane. Stop it. And she deleted the GoFundMe because that was insane. And she said she's going to save up the money herself. You don't even need to do that. What I need you to do is press your hair out. You don't gotta do that. Style it in a way that makes you feel, you know, you know, your, your best. Put your brows and lashes, a little concealer on. That's gonna do it every time, okay? Put your shoes on, put your favorite outfit on, and go to the club, okay? Go to Trader Joe's. Join a running club. Join a pickleball. Go find an activity. Find a hobby. Because that's where the men who are dateable are. They're out doing things living their lives. They're not paying matchmakers. <laughs> They're not. So did we all see the video of the influencer on here who asked her followers to donate to her GoFundMe for a matchmaker? Let's talk about it. And yes, I'm making this video on the train because I just saw it and I have thoughts and I needed to get them out. <laughs> Now, for those of you who've been following me since at least 2021, you know I was very single for a long time. I was in the trenches, I was deep in it, and I was lucky, and I met my fiance in 2021. We got engaged last summer, and we're getting married next summer. However, before that, I really wanted to find love. But never in my wildest dreams would I ever think to ask my followers to donate to a GoFundMe for a matchmaker to help me find love. That is wild. 
Now, if my cat was in the hospital and needed like emergency surgery and I needed $10,000, then I'd maybe consider asking. But for a matchmaker is crazy. Listen, I get it. I know so many people want to find their person. It's an amazing feeling when you do. And when you feel like you've been in the trenches and you're not having any luck, you're willing to try a lot of things. But if you personally don't have the money, and I'm talking $8,000, which is crazy, I feel like it's a lot of audacity to ask your followers to donate to that for you. And I want to clarify, not that I think $8,000 is crazy for a matchmaker, because they do a lot of work. I think it is worth it if you have the money. But if you know you don't have the money, and then you're going to ask your followers to donate that on your behalf, to me, I feel like it's a little bit ballsy. There was a time in my life where I was truly desperate to find love and I realized it was not serving me to come from that desperation place. And so I went to therapy, I worked on myself, learned true self-love and trusted in the process. I know everybody's over the dating apps, but there are other ways you can meet people that do not require people donating the money that you don't have for a matchmaker. It's not like you have a sick family member. It's not like you have a pet that died. Those I feel like are very understandable because healthcare and things like that. But for a matchmaker, do, am I the only one that thinks that that's a little bit ballsy to ask people for? And if you've watched this person's content enough, you can kind of see elements of that coming out a little bit read the desperation of wanting to find someone and i think there's a difference between really truly wanting to find someone and just being frustrated and then being so desperate to find someone that you're willing to do anything and i think those two things need to be set apart my personal suggestion instead of asking your followers for a matchmaker and instead of using apps because i'm assuming she, i know she probably uses them a lot i would then start to put myself in situations where i can meet people who have the qualities that I want. So start putting yourself in those scenarios. If you're into sports, maybe go to a sports bar or a sporting event. You know, if you like books, go to a book club or go to the library. You know, there's so many other ways to meet people. Winnie, Winnie, Winnie. Oh, Winifred. It's not even the fact that you created a GoFundMe account to ask for $3,000 for a dating coach. It's really the fact that in the video you said you were a single mom and so you can't spend all your funds on that. So you turn around and ask for our funds? Babe, do you know how much outside costs right now? Eggs cost a rent payment. And I know for a fact that you're in the creator fund because you have more than 10,000 followers. And, you know, all that drama got you enough views. And I'm in the creator fund. And what I get monthly off of my views and engagement has been pretty fucking decent. So... All you have to do is just save up your creator fund money for a couple months and like get the dating coach if you want it that badly. Like there are people on GoFundMe who are literally asking to help keep the lights on, to help pay for medical bills. Like the majority of GoFundMe's at this point are for medical bills. And here you come on GoFundMe Asking for three bands for a dating coach with the hope of meeting a man. That's crazy. And the thing is, like, dating is trash. And you in Atlanta? Oh, babe. I know. that. That's just, that's the true trenches over there. And I have, you know, toyed around with the fact, like, oh, I might, you know, maybe I should just go the dating coach route and just not deal with it. But then when I see the cost of dating coaches, I say, oh, no, I'm going to just turn these apps off and I'm going to just chill. Give it up to God. But so you can't afford it because I guess the 3000 is for a couple months. So what happens after those couple months when you don't get the results? Because it's not always like a millionaire matchmaker like that used to be on um, Bravo and all of them where it's just like, oh, we found them like perfect because have you seen the men out here? You're going to be looking for a minute. Okay. Um, so yeah, I just feel like if you can't afford, let's say their first three months worth of services, maybe you should just save up. And then the thing too, right? Is cause first of all, I think she deleted the video. So the video I saw, um, well, Screenshots of people in the comments being like, um, 
no or you know something like that and her response was like oh no because someone said that asking the general public for money is like in poor taste and then she likened it to um subscribing on netflix i went to go find it on twitter so someone was like if someone is so deeply invested in someone's love life that they help fund a matchmaker they might need some help themselves and then she says it's entertainment you pay for netflix don't you and another one, I think people just found it extremely tone deaf to ask for that amount of money, especially in this economy. Fair. And she's like, I wasn't just asking for money. I was going to create content around this. It's no different than paying for a Netflix subscription. TikTok has a subscription feature. So why don't you use that or use Patreon or something like that? Just a GoFundMe. It's like, girl, read the fucking room. And even, you know, someone gave you $110, which, you know, congrats to them. But it's also like, if, it, if you can't afford it, maybe you don't need it right now. Winnie Parker to the front, please. For those who are unaware, Winnie Parker, the creator that don't like black people. Well, she didn't say that. Let me not spread rumors. She said that white creators support their they their content creators more than black people support theirs whatever some dumb shit i can't even i ain't got my notes y'all but I, I need a notebook anyway she went ahead and spread this shit and now she got the nerve to fix her thin mint lips to get on the internet and ask us for some money to help her find a dating coach so she could find a man Bitch, if you don't find a man, speak to pay me like the rest of us out here. How us don't got no damn man? How you gonna ask? How you gonna ask us to help you pay for you to get a man? And we don't really like you like that. After what you said, what you said, most people. I can say I don't like because I never followed you, but most people not even feeling you right now. You still trying to get back in the good graces, and you gonna ask for some money? Oh, hell no, nah, girl. Hell no. Nah. Best of luck on your dating endeavors, but we can't support. You gonna say, half of us don't even like men. And you gonna ask us for some money to find you a man. Decent men, babe. Decent men. Decent men. Okay? Best of luck, boo. Best of luck. Winnie Parker is the kind of black girl that other black girls don't get along with because she thinks that she's better than other black girls because of how she speaks or how she try to portray herself that she figures that she's black herself and it's so crazy because she said that she loved her white audience or she'd rather have a white audience than a black audience mind you she's black and now she's she have a gofundme up asking people to help donate so she can date better men you're literally having an identity crisis what man will want you you need to be having a gofundme so you could go to therapy and then she said um a lot of the men are aren't financially stable girl says the girl that have a gofundme up she's literally delusional i think she's a bot um, so excuse my look but um, I'm not desperate for a man. <laughs> I'm really not. If I was, I would be booed up right now. Trust me. I could have settled a long time ago. Um, She's right. She's not using that money for no damn matchmaker. What matchmaker you know ranges from between $2,000 and $4,000 a month. Let's be serious here. She must be hiring Will Smith to be the matchmaker. That girl is going to pocket that money. That ain't going towards no matchmaker. Okay? Dating ain't that damn difficult. Y'all laughing at Winnie Parker for making a GoFundMe to find love? My bad, to hire a matchmaker. But wasn't y'all sending Risa Tisa money so she could go on her dream trip? I'm not understanding the... I just have a question for my people. People. Did y'all ever consider that Winnie Parker was not talking to y'all when she asked for that uh, GoFundMe donation? She was talking to her audience. She was talking to her audience. We ain't got to get mad because she wasn't talking to us. Just a couple of weeks ago, the audience got this girl 
over $4,000 to move into her new apartment just by her being on live. When he, when he knew what she was doing, she wasn't talking to us. She was talking to her audience. So y'all let this girl talk to her audience and leave her alone. Leave her alone. Now, so many people felt strongly about her setting up a GoFundMe campaign to um, pay for a matchmaker. A lot of people were like, that's not a necessity. She's desperate. Um, is she seeing what people are actually using GoFundMe campaigns to do? It's just people are using it to pay rent, to pay medical bills, to sponsor themselves through school. And yes, yeah, she is saying that she needs um, $3,000 um to find a matchmaker and in her video she was also saying that um she doesn't have that money to be able to um pay three thousand dollars eight thousand dollars for a matchmaker but she would love that um people should donate and then she, she will share what happens during the dates and everything with people as um, content now personally i'm going to say something that is unpopular um considering all the people that have stitched and talked about um her situation now for me i feel like is it illegal to start a campaign a gofundme campaign for a matchmaker no is she forcing anyone to donate no is she asking anybody to donate under false pretense no um is it weird yes is it shameless of her yes but is it illegal is there a problem is there a legal problem no and um a lot of people were talking about the fact that how can she come and ask people who are looking for things in this economy to contribute to a go fund me for a matchmaker to get a matchmaker and i'm like she's not fussing anybody she came online she put a video and she's asking people if you cannot donate you can share it and if you can donate please donate she did not put any weapon on anybody's head she did not do anything she just came online and said this is what she wants to do and her whole page is about her dating experience and she has over 120,000 followers. So definitely some people are invested in her stories. They are watching her videos. I've seen some of her videos do 100K and the rest. They are watching her videos and they are interested. So she decided, oh, let us ask people to help. Now, is it shameless? Like I said, yes, but it is not a legal problem. So I really don't know why people are, are dragging her. I feel like, yes, it's a weird thing. I probably will never, ever, hopefully, never, ever try that kind of thing. But like I said, that is what she wants at this point in time. And she's shameless enough to ask about it. Now, in my own opinion, sometimes um, we feel like some things are not supposed to be done. But if you've noticed that, it's the people that are shameless with what they want that actually get it they go after it and they get what they um desire even if people are saying oh that's weird that's somehow don't do that you don't it's not supposed to be for you now a lot of people like i said i just thinking this economy um why is she trying to um do a go for me campaign for something that is not a priority now for her it's a priority for you it's not <laughs> and i'm not saying this as a as a people say pick me but different people have different priorities she has a child she wants a partner and she decided she wants to get a matchmaker but she doesn't have the fund uh and then she decided to come online to ask her community she did not go to any other person she asked her community she has over 120,000 followers and she's asking her community. It is shameless, but it is what it is. There's so many influencers, so many um, people that come online and ask for things that to me is weird, but to them is a priority. And people donate. People donate. So for me, I feel like there's no issue with it. I know people are saying, oh, um, there are people homeless, there are people poor, there are people with these medical bills. 
there are people that are asking for things like they want to get a bag and this and people are donating it's mundane to you but it's not mundane to them i'm not going to um say oh she should not do it it is a priority it is a prerogative it is whatever she wants to do my own point is there is nothing wrong in what she's doing as long as she's not soliciting for the funds under false pretense and before she um actually took down the video she said she has privated the video and taken down the link and um, people were already donating i think she had already gotten like 200 um dollars from people so people were already donated so it shows that some people are invested in it and they were going to help out i wanted to hop on here real quick and say thank you to the people that have donated you guys are so sweet i'm 200 dollars closer to hiring a matchmaker and finding the love of my life um i think it's really cool that i've had some major network companies production companies reach out to me i think that's awesome um so yeah i'm really i'm really not stressed or pressed about the fact that everyone's mad about it i think that they can be mad about it and i'm gonna continue trudging on and continue doing me so yeah i appreciate everyone that has donated and yeah stay tuned um also she said that some networks have contacted her which um when she talked about it i was like there's no difference between what she was doing what she's asking for and saying that she's going to do and um, reality shows and um if she's not lying and she's and um, networks have actually approached her and she might feature in this one of the dating shows good for her because she definitely will feature there get more people to her chat to her page and probably get more brand deals and probably get a lot from the show which she would not have had the opportunity to um be approached if she had not made that video if she had not made the shameless video the video that everybody is attacking her she also said that she's going to save up for the matchmaker that um so she's going to do more brand deals she's open to do more brand deals. she's open to do more partnership she's open to be pushing a lot of products especially from the tiktok shop so um hopefully her putting more content getting more brand deals and um everything plus the creator fun stuff she'll be able to get the money that she needs if she has not yet um, gone for the dating show from the networks that have uh, approached her. Um, so, uh, like I said, personally, I don't see anything wrong in what she has done. I just feel like because she has made a lot of controversial remarks and a lot of people in the black community don't like her, they just wanted to attack her. That's my own opinion. Um, as long as she's not harming anybody, she's not taking money from people under false pretense and she's not using the money for something else apart from what she said she wanted to use it. I'm fine with it. Um, if you want something, go after it shamelessly. And um, as long as you're not harming anybody. And hopefully it will work out for you. Anyway, that's my opinion about this whole situation. I don't know what you guys think. Do you think what she did is outrageous? Do you think it's shameless? Do you think she should not have done it? Do you think people attacking her are just being over dramatic or that they're actually right to attack her and drag her left, right, center? Uh, I, will, I would love to hear your thoughts about this whole situation. So please leave your comments in the comment section so that we can get this discussion popping now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are not yet subscribed and you like videos such as this please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime i upload videos now with all that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in the next one bye